Madison, what's my name? So it's... You can do it. It's Alex. Can you say Alex? <laughs> no. Hello, my spooky crew, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. This is Madison. A few videos ago, I had talked about that I bought a haunted doll on eBay. Yes, eBay of all places, uh, a little sketchy, but I was just really drawn to Madison, and I had been wanting to buy a haunted doll for a while, like for a long while, but I didn't really feel like ready per se for this adventure, so... I saw Madison on eBay and she came at a really good price and no one else had bid on her. So I'm like, you know what? Why not? Let's bid on her. Let's see what happens. But before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like and be sure to click on that notification bell, mainly because after you subscribe to me and you don't click on that bell, then you may not ever hear from me again. So clicking on that notification bell lets you know when I upload new videos. Take a good look at her and pause this video and write down what you think and then hit play. I'll wait. Okay, so I'm assuming you've looked at Madison, you've written your readings down, you've gotten your impressions on paper, make sure you date it, write your name. Let me tell you a little bit about Madison's backstory. Madison came from Texas. Apparently she belonged to a baker and this woman's name was also Madison and she passed away. And then her family basically rehomed Madison to the seller, the seller on eBay. And yeah, apparently Madison's triggers are baking and baking sweet stuff, especially especially the girl loves carbs. I am feeling it. I am living for it. So Madison arrived a couple days before my birthday in January. For the first week, I, you know, had her with me all the time. I went to coffee and took her with me to go get coffee. She went with me on car rides. You know, I was very much like, hey, you know, hang out with me. And then I put her in my living room and I just kind of left her there. And literally we didn't get anything for a while. And initially I was thinking, oh snap, maybe this, maybe she's not haunted after all. And I did do a EVP phasma box session w the first night I got her. So here's a clip from that. Madison, can you say hi? Or Miss Bailey. You are staying very consistent here. Oh, maybe not. Okay, we got some changes. Been around. Been around? Is there someone else here besides Madison? Oh, hmm. They're recording. Who else is here besides Madison? Can I talk to Madison? Is that your real name? How many are here with us? People's habit. People's habit. <laughs> Madison, where did you come from? St. Gerard? <laughs> Madison, I heard you came. I heard you came from a family. Yep. Yep. You sound you sound like a man. Is is there somebody is this is there somebody else here? <laughs> It's your family? What about your family? Tell me about your family. Your family is someplace else. But, but you're here and safe with us. Can you say hello? Oh, there you go. Good job. Good, Madison. 
<clears throat> Didn't quite hear that, Madison. Yeah. Do you like the kitties? Yeah. Three. Three? Well, I have four cats. Yeah. Do you like Chris? We are so happy to have you here. Yeah. Who's this talking? You are welcome to stay, but you cannot scare anybody. You cannot harm me, Chris, or the cats. So the first night Phasma Box EVP session was a little interesting. Like I said, afterwards it was just super quiet, but it wasn't until maybe two or three weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. So that would have been two weeks after Madison arrived. Things started to get weird, mainly around my boyfriend. Mainly because my boyfriend, you know, was taking a nap and he started to feel like these little feet walking on the bed. And we have cats, as you can see. It's easy to tell when it's cats. And so he looked in the direction where where the, where the little foot footsteps were coming from, he thought there was a cat walking on the bed. There was no cat. And so he thought maybe he was just imagining it. So he closed his eyes again. The little feet started happening again. And this time he reached his hand out, hoping to feel a cat. He opened his eyes. Again, no cat there. And you really can feel when cats get off a bed. And you can also feel when a cat gets on a bed. It was a little troubling. And of course this completely freaked out my boyfriend. I haven't been getting any weird dreams or anything, so she's not affecting my sleep. But this past week, I want to say week and a half, I've been hearing the door open and close and somebody walking through my apartment. And I keep my office door open usually. I thought my boyfriend was home and so I'd say, hey babe, and no one's there. Granted, his mother did pass away about a week ago from the time I filmed this, so maybe his mother's coming to say hi too, but I'm starting to notice it now, so it's a little, it's a little, little strange. And finally, the other weird thing that happened was, in case you didn't know, I do a podcast for the spooky stuff, and last week I was interviewing Michael from Glowing Ghost Paranormal, and he had been talking about, in this section of the interview, about how he doesn't believe in demons, and how he's been cultivating his own abilities, and the more he becomes in tune with his intuition, he starts to believe that it's true, that there really may be no demons. And we caught this audio. Dive into it, the more I find that to be true also. And when you work as a comedian, you have to do it from a place of love and peace. So the crazy thing about this audio is this is coming from my microphone. I had recorded the podcast on Zencaster, so... If you're not familiar with Zencaster, it records each person on a separate track. So Michael had his own track and I had my own track. So I was able to see where that sound was coming from. And here is actually the sound with just my side of it. So I thought that was interesting. I sent it to a few paranormal people in my circle and asked, hey, what do you hear? And I'm going to go ahead and say it because I'm sure, you know, people, you're going to be wondering if you heard something different, please include it in the comments. I heard, how dare you? And a few other people in my circle heard that too. Other people heard, I'll, hmm, you. So definitely like an aisle or a howl, ow, ow, I, you know, kind of sound. And then you, like, it seems we all agree that it's you. And then other people only heard like the feedback. So, and keep in mind that audio was taken when I was wearing my headset, meaning I had a headset on and my mic was literally right here. So I wasn't touching it. I don't like to touch my microphone because it's expensive. So this was really interesting. So let me know what you hear. Because I want you all involved in this process, I am going to do a Phasma Box session in this video right now. And Phasma Box is another ITC app. So basically what it does, it produces sounds. It doesn't use a word bank. It does have a radio option, which I try not to use really, but it's hard to tell when it's on and off because it's it's kind of sounds the same either way. So I can't tell if the radio's on or off. And I don't even know what stations it's connecting to, so eh. But anyway, I want you to join me 
as we do this Phasma Box session. And let me know what you think, let me know what you hear, and let me know what impressions you get from Madison. Madison, was that your voice I heard during Michael's podcast? Sure. Sure. Okay. Me too. Is there more than one spirit here with this doll? How many spirits are here with this doll? Okay. Madison, what's my name? So it's... You can do it. It's Alex. Can you say Alex? No. Pausing really quick. So I So my name is my name is Alex. My middle name, my middle name is Alexandra. My first name is Catherine and I thought I just heard Catherine and it just really wigged me out. All right, we'll continue. We're connecting. Okay. Might have something going on. So the name I was told that goes with this doll is Madison. Is this doll's name Madison? What's your name? Bradley? Okay, well, I'll just, I will keep calling you Madison. I'll keep calling you Madison for now. How old are you? It seems there's more than one spirit here. Hi. Hi, yeah. Can you say my name again? That was really neat. Can you say Alex? Almost had it. You almost had it. Oh, huh. Hi. Okay, that works. I'm terrible at, like, listening and understanding these things, by the way. You have to be very clear for me. Do you like music? I enjoy music. No? Okay. Do you like playing games? Here's the Whitney. Very, really good. Okay. So we're at... Well, there's a lot of electricity happening right now. Maybe we're good. Oh, no, we still got... Are you laughing at me? Is this funny? How many fingers? Okay, very good. Good job. Nice, nicely done, Madison. Okay. Good evening. Yeah, this is an investigation. You're right. Who else is with Madison? Can you say that again? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Who else is with Madison? It's weird. It almost sounds like church bells. Oh, 
I thought I heard a little kid. I thought I heard a child. My cats are like, nope, we're done. Okay, Madison. Researchable. I'm hope. Are you saying you're researchable? Like, can I find if I looked for you? Can I find you? I can do that if you tell me your real name. This is certainly interesting. Madison, do you have anything to say? Do you have a message for me? Otters. Okay. That was my cat. Well, Madison, I'm going to say good night to you. No, there's no party tonight. Maybe next time. Do you want me to have a party? Hmm. Okay. Well, Madison, I'm going to stop recording with this now, with this little box. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Yeah, we need to get the hair out of your face. Okay. Well, Madison, thank you for talking with me, and thank you to whoever was talking to me this evening. Have a good night. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Phasma Box session with Madison. Let me know if you want to see more in the future. And before you go, please be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. Tell me what you heard. Let me know if I missed anything. I most likely did. And tell your friends and family about this video in case they want to watch some spooky stuff. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like. And again, remember to turn on those notifications so you'll know next time I upload a video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next round.